Something very mysterious in Myanmar. Archaeologists are stunned by this ancient monument. It defies gravity. It should not be sitting there. It should be, it should have toppled over already. Archaeologists stunned by the gravity defying Ki Aiktiyo Pagoda, the ancient legend behind its construction. The Ki Aiktiyo Pagoda, Pagoda, sorry, I got it out, also known as the Golden Rock, well known Buddhist pilgrimage site in uh, Myanmar, in Mon State. It sits atop of the Ki Aiktiyo Hill, known as Kalesha Hills or Eastern Yoma Mountains. It's, one, it's on the Pang Lang Ridge of Eastern Yoma Mountains. It's shrouded in clouds, it's very high up. Its origins and story offer visitors and pilgrims tantalizing taste of mystery and mythology. It's, uh, the rock itself is 25 feet and is balancing, as we can see, precariously on the edge of a cliff, just uh, ready to go off into the abyss. To the human eye, it appears baffling and it's almost impossible, but to the devoted, it's proof of the divine. Its worshippers believe that the rock stays in balance because of Buddha's miraculous powers. Between the rock and the hill, it sits on top of a strand of the Buddha's hair, is in fact believed to be placed helping it keep its balance. That's what they say. Few Burmese questions question the uh, engineering behind the construction and are instead devoted to the mythology of it. The more that a site is shrouded in myths and miracles, the more important it is to pray there. Now, the story and history was explored during Smithsonian Channel documentary Wonders of Burma, Shrines of Gold, and the narrator notes that it's gravity-defying nature. He said, it's a natural wonder made sacred by stories. Finally, support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. So here we have a closer picture of the rock balancing off the edge of the cliff, as you can see. And uh, it should be toppling over. Why isn't it? That's the mythology behind it, the wonder. The legend brings with a, uh, begins with a kingdom a thousand years ago in a region called Upper Mon. And one day the king encountered a Buddhist hermit who held a strand of hair inside his hat, said to be the Buddha's, and he offered this strand of hair to the king. And in return, the hermit insisted the hair should be enshrined in a pagoda built on a rock the shape of his head. The king had inherited supernatural powers from his father, Zhao Gui, a proficient alchemist, and his mother, a naga serpent dragon princess. He enlisted the help of Sakra, the Thagi Yamin, who found the perfect rock at the bottom of the ocean, supposedly, and pulling it from the seafloor, he used a boat to transport the rock, eventually lifting it to the top of this mountain. After balancing the rock on the mountain, the king built a pagoda on top and enshrined the Buddhist hair inside, and the boat was used to transport the rock, has also been turned into a stone, also worshipped by the pilgrims at a location of about 900 feet from this golden rock. It's known as the Kiak Tanban Pagoda or Stupa. Its literal meaning translates to the stone boat, quote-unquote, Another version of the story states the rock was placed on top of the hair and that the hair helps prevent the rock from sliding down the mountain, if we could believe that. Another states the Buddha's pride impresses the king with his asceticism and so used his own powers to carry the rock to the current, current place up here on his own. The subsequent shrine and the story behind it has made Mount Kiak Tio and the Golden Rock, one of the most famous popular spots in the entire country. And as we said, there's a shrine up there and it's a pilgrimage site. While the Golden Rock has become a tourist attraction as well, between November to March, an atmosphere of devotion is observed. And there is uh, pilgrims, the pilgrims come from all over Myanmar to chant, light candles, meditate, and bring offering, offerings to the Buddha. This is uh, according to Joel Day on Express UK.
Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.